In this video, we're going to be using Ariana and Evans Peaches and Cognac and the Feather SS Shavette Style Razor. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, C2B. Thanks so much for joining me again today. I really appreciate it. And today, we're just using a soap that I really, really, really love. And we're not going to waste, waste any time. We're going to go ahead and get the scent going with the aftershave. This is Ariana and Evans Peaches and Cognac, which has a poppin', poppin', poppin' scent. I absolutely love it. It's probably one of my favorite scents of all time. And therefore, I'm going to get the scent going right now. And it is warm in this bathroom, and I am not used to it. So using this shave ad and trying to rush is once again a bad idea. But you know me. For shaved them, I'll do it. <laughs> so the details on this soap. Uh, this comes to you from Ariana and Evans. Now, I'm in the club, so if you're in the club, uh, you get 20% off. And this one comes to you price-wise under $5 an ounce on our cost chart right there, which is a fair price. And the ingredients on this, absolutely tremendous. I'll show them to you right there. We got goat, goat's milk, cocoa butter, shea, aloe, lanolin, um, just about everything. It's got the super blue emu, the dragon tallow, the unicorn milk, the chupacabra oil, it is a high quality soap in terms of base, arguably the best in the world. Um, and I would definitely rank it as, if not the best, pretty doggone close to it. It is a phenomenal quality soap and uh, I look forward to using it today. The scent on this absolutely pops. Uh, for me, it's about 7.5, um, definitely over medium heading towards the strongly scented uh, side of the house. Wonderful peaches and cognac. We'll actually put the full scent profile right there for you. It just smells beautiful, and I'm looking forward to using it today. We're going to use, again, the Feather SS. We'll try to mind our technique and not rush so much today, um, but we make no guarantees. <laughs> okay, let's wet the face and get going here today. Again, it's quite warm in this bathroom, and I think it's coming from the light fixture up there. They've got some bulbs that are putting off a lot of heat, and I'm right under it, and so... We'll try not to spend all day on this shade because this guest bathroom is smaller than mine at home and the heat just stays in here and it's upstairs. So it makes it uh, less than comfortable. So now I know what guys who have warm bathrooms go through. <laughs> like I said, I'm not gonna spend a lot of time making this a show lather. If you want to make a show lather of this, you can because it is high quality stuff. I want to mention, uh, Pete put out a video, Peter Chuck Alice from Ariana and Evans, which I'll link below, talking about changes going on in the business, including the addition of a customer service person to handle some of those service issues. Uh, he talked about uh, a skin essentials soap coming out that has only essential oils and lower scents and all sorts of stuff. So if you're interested, go check that uh, video out. I will link it below for you. So lots of changes going on and growth at uh, Ariana and Evans, and hopefully that will benefit the, the consumers. Okay, let's try to be mindful of our technique. Boy, it's really hot. By keeping this angle flat, I was trying to stretch, but my hands won't, <laughs> my, my hands won't, uh, I can't get a grip because I'm sweating. This is, uh, Certainly makes it a little more difficult. Let me rinse that off. I might have to stick with the Rockwell 6C because it makes me want to rush. And rushing with one of these just isn't a just isn't a good idea. So take it from me. Do as I say, not as I do. <laughs> Make sure you have plenty of time. Make sure you're comfortable with your environment. Don't do what I'm doing, which is bad. Which is shaving with something like this when you're not in a comfortable environment or situation. Um, it would be much easier just to get the DE and go with it, but I wanted to redeem myself. It's just that competitive nature in me that's like, you know what? I made a memory line the other day, and uh, we're gonna come back and use this again and do a better job. 
it cuts very, very smoothly, but boy, that sweat is just running off me. And so I'm trying to pick up the pace just a little bit without being careless. Being careless is just a bad idea with these blades or a straight razor, but I have found with these blades, they give you less quarter than a straight. So as to the soap here, phenomenal. It's doing an outstanding job, which is expected. No problems at all. The scent is fantastic. The quality is fantastic. I'm sweating actually some of the <laughs> soap off as I go, but uh, it's wonderful. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. This is gonna be quite sloppy in the lathering, but like I said before, I'm not concerned about it because I just wanna try to get some lather on the face. Uh, if I get any of the soap on my face at all, it's going to be uh, it's going to be slick. Let me get a towel real quick. All right, so I got a towel there just to... So what I did the other day was came in a little hot, so we're gonna be mindful to when coming to the face to keep the angle pretty shallow. And then you can always rotate it to your preferred cutting angle. But when you come in with these blades, they must be fairly shallow. Um, because if you come in too hot, cut what I like to call a memory line every single time, all the time. And I've done it six or seven times, I want to say, over the years. If you don't treat it with respect, it will not <laughs> show you respect either. It's one of those things where its level of respect is contingent on what you give it. And if you don't give it due respect, you will have a memory line. It will create memories. I'm very happy with this soap. I was gonna say there, I got myself tongue twisted. I'm completely happy. Uh, I love this soap. That's why I brought it with me. I just wanted to bring some things that I really enjoy and that are uplifting and give me a boost, you know. Um, sometimes some of these scents, you use them and you just, it gives you that boost you need to start your day. After this, I'll run downstairs and get some breakfast corn for my mom and dad. Continue to help out and try to be a blessing. And that has been our theme, I think, over the last uh, oh, month or so. It's just continually saying, you know, try to be a blessing where you can. And uh, I must admit, I don't always, I don't always hit the mark on that. And sometimes I forget. And everybody forgets sometimes. But if you have the opportunity to be a blessing, take it every single time, you know. Because you'll feel better. I always feel better when I do. And so I feel much better when I'm there, when I'm helping, when I'm being a blessing than when I'm being a jerk. <laughs> and I try to never be a jerk, but let's face it, we all can be. And I certainly have in the past, you know. I try not to, the older I get, I think the more important it is for me to not do that. However, uh, there are times where, you know, you've had enough and you, <laughs> you know. So believe me, do not think that the old CDB that you've seen years ago is completely gone because if need be, it shall return. But my preference is always just to be a blessing, to get along and have fun. You know, and to advocate for the hobby, hobby, excuse me. But on the same, on the same, uh, at the same time, I should say, I'm not going to put up with any mess. <laughs> so I, I still have the old fire, and uh, it's still there. But you know, it's a lot more fun just to have fun <laughs> and to not be arguing and fighting. You know, and so we don't do a lot of that these days. But you're, you're never fully transform, you know. And those of you who remember from the old days, it, de it didn't take much for me to get into a, 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 a debate and just make it known. Uh, but as I said earlier, I feel much better having fun.
you know, because if you're um, throwing down a bunch of negative stuff and fighting and arguing, that's not bringing new people in. They're going to see a video and go, Whoa, what the heck's wrong with that guy? You know, so we try not to do it, that, but obviously I can never guarantee that it won't happen. You just never know. When you reach your limit, you know, we're all human. And I'm a human being too, and I make mistakes and still will. Believe me, I have offered a lot of apologies over the years, a lot, and still do to this day when I overstep. And, and to me, I always appreciate somebody who's um, who can sort of humble themselves and just simply offer an apology. And it means a lot to me. And uh, I've done it even recently. I remember with a friend, we had a little bit of a disagreement recently. And the first thing I did was I am'd him. It doesn't matter whether I was right or not. I just I am'd him and said, hey, man, I apologize for the way I came across there. Even though I was right, it's more important for me to maintain that relationship than it is to be right, you know? And so I reached out uh, to this particular individual and said, hey, I'm sorry, this is why I said or did this, you know? Even though I had no obligation to do it and I feel much better having done it. And so that's, that's what I like to do, you know? And I feel better having done it. So please, please, please. Try to be a blessing. If you can, don't be afraid to apologize. I do all the time when I overstep. I do with my wife. I do with, you know, and it, there's no weakness in that. You know, that's, that's just trying to be a decent person. And so now more than ever, when there's so much, so much stuff going on in the world, you just don't know what folks are going through. By the way, Marion's test came back negative. So I'm so glad to hear that because he was really in the world of hurt. And so I was thinking about Marion until I heard that. And uh, I hope those of you who, uh, who reached out to Marion, thank you. Um, I really appreciate it. Negative on the Rona, so Marion can still work, and, and that's great. Anyway, you don't know what people are going through. Be decent, folk. All right, let me rinse. We'll come back and finish this off with a post. Stay tuned. And all right, we're back with the magic made by witches. This is Thayer's Witch Hazel Cucumber, which is a toner. Works very, very well. And we managed to pull that one off with no... Mistakes or errors, really nice shave, no creepers, weepers, cuts, irritation, bubbles or troubles, and you can't ask for more than that. I really enjoyed uh, this shave with peaches and cognac. It's one of my favorite soaps. Pete is one of my favorite folks in the business. He's really making a lot of changes, and for those of you in Europe, I think he sent 3,000 soaps over there for distribution and 1,700 splashes, so you're going to see some Ariana and Evans uh, coming to you soon. Um, it's a brand that I really like, a brand that I'm going to continue to use. And, uh, actually I look forward to using it more and more as time goes on. So we use the Feather SS. I don't know where I put it. I set it down somewhere, so I won't show it to you. We used our Ariana and Evans brush, which is what I chose to travel with. Uh, Captain's Choice Bowl right here. And of course, peaches and cognac. And we will finish this off with the peaches and cognac splash. It was hot in here, but we managed to work through it. And uh, this has been a really nice shave, despite being super hot in here. I don't know if I want to continue to do it because it just makes me want to brush. And that is not a good, <laughs> that's not a good foundation when you're using something like this. But we did get through it today. We did well. And I hope you'll do well in your shaves. And, and I remind you once again, um, during these times where people are going through so much, please err on the side of kindness. Always. I will try to do that. I will not always succeed. I'm going to tell you now, but I'm going to try the best I can to do it too. Not just to tell you things, but to do it just like today. I told you to keep the angle flat and I managed to do it myself. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. I really, really appreciate it. I can't tell you how much that you guys mean to me. Until next time, I've been your host CDB reminding you, Joy Shave, do it your way. And as always,